Alright guys, how's it going? So I have purchased a pop filter, I do apologise for the popping and the heavy breathing like a porn star, but if you don't know the backstory of the old pop filter, this might intrigue you, uh, I basically have a cat and he's a bastard and he decided to use it as a scratching pole, yeah, that's, the, that's the gist of it. So I made a video yesterday and it was called the Hair Conductor Add-on, pretty cool add-on, I recommend you check it out, link up at the top right, check me out being all YouTube like and subscribe, but one of the users actually mentioned it reminds me of the spline generator and it kind of does to be honest, there's some similarities there. Now if you don't know how to work the spline generator, the first thing you need to do is add on the extra curve objects. You should have this installed by default to be honest, it's pretty much fundamental. Just to give you an example, if you go to add curve, you can see here I have a whole bunch of different curves. Great for doing things like helix and stuff like that. Now, I'll just quickly show you, if you go into Edit, Preferences, Search for Add-ons, go to Extra, you can see here, Add Extra Curve, and I recommend you add on the extra objects in terms of the mesh. But anyway, let's take a look at this add-on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cube, I'm going to go to the Create tab, and you can see here, Spline Generator, and we'll just try Spiral Fit. And it's pretty much exactly what you think is going to be. It's going to add a spiral around the object. Now what you can do here is you can obviously save presets, so that's great for doing things over and over again. And you can change things like the spire resolution, 8 is probably okay. You can change the amount of spirals if you want. You can add an offset, so let's put a little bit of an offset like this. Let's add a little bit of wave, let's put the wave intensity up, maybe get something like that, pretty cool. And we can randomise this and we can randomise the seed. And obviously we have the extrusion options for the curve, so I'm just going to extrude this out a little bit. In fact, what I'll do is I'll actually do the bevel radius and we get something like this. Let's drop it down just a little bit. 0.01 and we end up with something like this, pretty cool to be honest, now I'm just going to quickly delete this, I'll delete the default cube, we'll use the icosphere and we'll use the bounce spline option, so I've selected the object, I'll go to bounce spline and this kind of reminds me of wool, it kind of just bounces around the object, uh, let's put the bevel radius up again 0.01 we end up with something like that. Now obviously we can change the amount of bounces. Now my computer's pretty beefy so it can do quite a lot. So just keep that in the back of your mind when you're doing this. Just not to crash Blender to be honest. And again you can have things like the random seed, the resolution, even just adding things like a noise or a tilt. And that's pretty much the bounce spline. It's pretty cool if you want to do something like wool. And we'll quickly delete this and we'll use the last option which is catenary. Now what we need to do here is we technically need two different objects. I can select the two different objects and then I can click this and it'll draw a spline in between the two objects. And we'll just take a quick look at the options. Again, we can save presets. You can put the steps up, but that's the number of steps between the points I would imagine. And you can see here we have an A, this kind of dangles it like this. So once I've dropped the curve down, I'm just going to go to the geometry options and the curve options and go to 0 0.01 in terms of the depth. Get something like that, that's pretty cool. So we'll just do this one last time. I'll select both objects, I'll go to the catenary option and I'm actually going to change this back to a Bezier's curve. And you can see here, by just changing things like the tilt and the random seed, and even things like the randomize, you can get this kind of corrugated look. It's pretty cool, to be honest. Now, there's usually a smoothing option there, but it doesn't seem to be there. But anyway, that's pretty much the spine generator tool. Do me a favor, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.